Greetings from Montana. It is Thursday. I am up hiking the East Highlight Fork, East Fork of Highlight Creek, and it's like 34 degrees up here, you guys. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a trail that takes you to a couple of lakes. It's gonna be 10 miles round trip, and it's the most ambitious length hike that I've had since I left Arizona. So, let's see what we can see. I really wanted to be up here an hour sooner, but the truck battery was dead. And so, I'm just rejoicing that I got to be up here at all. And, you know, there's a good reason that I was delayed, even if I don't know why I was delayed. I'm currently just over 8,000 feet and I have found snow. It's July 2nd. All right, 8,300 feet, and I've hit a patch of snow that almost completely covers the trail. Right, there's no going around this without getting off the trail. This is 8,550 feet. This is the prize that waits for you at 8,955 feet, Emerald Lake. But wait, there's more. Now I'm gonna walk across a snowfield because this hike isn't over yet. I think I have like half a mile left to get to my final destination or turnaround point. I think my final destination is just up through this snowfield. And then maybe on my way down, I'll put my micro spikes on. I'm glad I remembered them. Wow. Oh, hey. It's the trail. Still frozen. I'm currently at <coughs> nine thousand two hundred and thirty three feet. This is the highest I've been on the planet in like three years. And I feel fine, except that I 
have like a bit of a cough. And that's probably from altitude, but that'll get better because now I'm going to go back down. But this was the hardest part between Emerald Lake and Heather Lake. So I'm going to start back to my truck. I thought I would be clever and try to skirt around the snowfield and that did not go well. <laughs> I just sank in mud and so here I am braving the snowfield. Oh well, if I post hole, I just have to climb out. The snow has sunk cups which is all the little indentations from it melting and freezing. So when I came up, I tried to go through that field, which proved to be more treacherous because that's where I sank in mud. super excited because I made it back to the snowless part of the trail. Right, okay, that's the end of the trail. See you next time. <laughs>